Welcome back aliens, my name is Davin Reddy and let's continue with the series on blockchain. In this video, we'll talk about nodes. In the blockchain system, we have a concept of nodes. Now you can imagine a computer or a mobile phone on the network is known as node. In fact, the internet which we are using now, the devices which we use are nodes, right? Example, it can be router, it can be desktop, anything. So in the same way, in the blockchain network also, we have a concept of nodes. Now these nodes can be again a computer or a mobile phone. Now what this node does, now based on the type of node you have, it performs different operations. Now first of all, we have two different types of nodes. The first one is full node or you can call them as fully validated node. The second type of node we have is partial node or you can say light nodes. So let's talk about full node first. Now full node is basically a computer which will have the entire blockchain. So the current size of blockchain is 188 GB. I'm talking about today's date which is 28th October 2018. So it is 188 GB and every day it is increasing. So all this data will be stored on full node. This full node has one more task of verifying the node. So first it will store the entire blockchain. Second, it will verify the blocks which is getting added. So every time the connected node says, hey, we got new block now. So this full node will verify the entire blockchain. And once it verifies, then only it will store it. You know, something like, let's say, if the peer node says, hey node, we got a new block for you. Now this full node will check. Okay, so you're giving me a new block. Let me first verify it. After verifying it, then only it will add that block in the full node. Now in blockchain, we have one more term, which is miners. Now miners are basically mine the blocks. Now again, how that works, that we'll discuss later. Uh, we have a concept of transactions. The transaction goes into a block. A miners will mine it. We'll talk about that later. A full node can also be a miner. Basically, if, if a full node, a computer, runs a mining software, then we can call them as miner as well. It's not compulsion that a full node should be miner as well. Okay, so we have two different things, a full node, and then we can have a full node with a miner. Now, only thing is when we talk about full node, we only need a huge amount of storage, which is approximately 188 GB as per now. But if you want to be a miner, that's where you need a huge computing power. Now, when I say huge computing power, I'm talking about stack of CPUs and huge amount of GPUs. So miners, they use CPUs and GPUs as well. You can try those things with your laptop, but then you can never mine with your laptop because it has a very low power. You need a huge amount of power. And to run that machine, you need electricity as well. So it's, that's a huge investment. So for the full node, you don't need a huge investment. You can use your normal computer, provided you have a 200 GB free now. But then if you want to be a miner, you need a huge amount of CPU and GPU power. Basically, you need an entire a center with CPUs and GPUs, so investment, right? But then as a miner, you earn incentives as well. So basically we have incentive model. So every time you mine a new block, you do earn the transaction fee and then some Bitcoins as well. Again, that's only specific to Bitcoin, but again, we'll talk about that later. But full node, as a full node, you don't earn, but then you can be a miner to earn because they're investing a lot of money. On the other hand, we have a concept of partial nodes or light nodes. Example, let's say if you want to use Bitcoin, if you want to use any wallet, and if you want to do that on your mobile phone, of course, your mobile phones need to have that software. Now, of course, this will also be a node now. The moment you install software, this becomes a node, but then this will be a partial node because I cannot simply download the entire blockchain on this phone. So this will have some part of blockchain so that it can run, uh, so that it can you know, send money to someone else. That's your light node or you can say partial node. So we have a concept of full node who will verify the transactions, who will store the entire blockchain. And then we have partial nodes who can only, they use it for valid purpose. So that's about nodes. Again, we'll talk about in detail how exactly miner works, how exactly we get blocks. Just to get the idea of nodes, this is what nodes are. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.